they're time definitely going to be zero, Jesse zero, and Tina. It's not going to just get handed to them. And we're off. Point. One, zero, two. Point. That tank was a little bit too low for Jesse to go that aggressive on. Two, might zero, two. A placement tank rather than a flick. He's back inside. I, think I actually think that was the third. One. Third? <laughs> <laughs> I was counting. <laughs> oh, that first ball was missed. Because right. when you're playing against any type of opponent, you're you're taking ta you're taking Mental you know hits. mentally you're oh, like yeah. okay where is where are they making the mistakes where have we been higher percentage right. you know where do we go now where do we stay who do we stay on so in my mind I'm playing out this game too you know <laughs> exactly. So they stay persistent on Jesse. Yep. They're keeping it at her, and you kind of sense a little strategy going on right now. Zero, three, two. Point. Rorbacher says my fault on that. A little bit too big of a swing on that backhand as it got too low to turn her back inside. One, three, two. Same Point. backhand spot. Mm -hmm. they, they now and Jesse's got a little. They've got a little target zone to aim for now too. Two, mm -hmm. three, two. Great, Great play by Jesse mm -hmm. there, anticipating that backhand to sit a little bit high, sliding to the left with the forehand put away. Jamming Anna Bright so she can't quite get the counter back over. Three, three, two. Oh, sorry. Oh, did that hit her in the head? Yeah, it did. That did. She barely got grazed there. It did touch her, so that'll be a side out. Correction. Side out. Correction too. Three, three, one. Yep. You'll notice that pattern there with Anna Bright and Rachel Rohrbacher on the aggressive. They're the offensive side of this game right now, whereas Four, Tina three, and Jesse one. are trying to play catch up and defend for their lives. Nice. Kino's waiting for that, that speed up. It's a little different coming off of a female paddle Four, than, three, you know. Pace is a little different yeah. there. Guys are hitting way big nowadays in pickleball. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Anna was ready for that speed up. It's also tough to really generate too much pace when you're on your back foot mm -hmm. without a foot off that kitchen line. Five, three, two. Aggressive play by Tina Kuznick and Jesse Irvin. Well, maybe they're onto something here. Four, five, one. Yeah. 
little bit of miscommunication there in the middle ball. You see Jesse there trying to go for the shake and bake, but that counter by Rachel was a little bit too low for her to really do much with. Five, four, one. Great backhand by Jesse there. You'll notice she was sitting, kind of waiting early on that backhand, uh, expecting the ball to pop a little bit high and making contact, really good contact in front of her with the snap on the one. Side out. look from Rachel but she pulls yeah. it just wide and interestingly enough take a look at how far off the kitchen line five, Jesse five, and Tina are standing versus Rachel and Anna oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, Im Jesse impressed with how bad she missed that shot <laughs> five, five, two. So they're going for a little bit too much, trying to keep Jesse and Tina back, or Anna and Rachel. So instead of brushing up on that shot, what shot selection should Rachel be looking for? With that drop being that good of a drop, you want to drop a good drop. Mm -hmm. Just to keep that ball in play, place it in a good spot. that question that was a great example right there it was more of like a lift more of a lift than a brush down by Five, one, one. too good on that put away by Jesse Hitting deep corner on that. Five, six, two. Point. And counter by Tina going to the nets. Keep watch on that shot to see if that's something that they could potentially six, exploit. Six, two. Characteristic miss hit by Anna on that. Right here. Six, six, one. Point. a couple of those now, both from Anna and from Rachel. That backhand roll that you mentioned earlier. The ball's a little bit too low to do that. That's not something you want to force. Got to get under that ball, get below it, lift it above the tape, make sure the ball's in play. Slicing, the roll dink. They used all types of versions of that backhand side to stay alive in that point based on the height of the ball when they made contact with it. You are correct. <laughs> Same 
came Boy, back mm -hmm. in listening to the tape. And she'll give her for the side out. Irvin Pisnik get a point on the scoreboard, leading by two here. But there's a side out. Excuse me, down by three now. Best point. Great exchange. Great job, Tina. Interestingly enough, Great Tina job. goes to the right Second side. Serve. Stays on the right side, does not stack there. Seven, nine, Just two. to give it a different look. are lasting a little bit longer now. I feel like they're building Time the point out, a little bit more, being a little bit more nine, cognizant seven, about one, where they're making minute. their attacks. Diamond, nine, seven, one. Cam Volley gives him the first Eight, game seven, point. Yeah. Oh. So that reset. She was there for that reset, but game her point. balance was a little bit backwards. So by the time she made contact with the ball, it wasn't Ten, ideal seven, height. Two. Flash in the middle of the court. Tina Pisnik, Jesse Irvin taking game number one. was taking a chance there, risky chance at that speed up, but misses just wide. Zero, zero, one. Oh. 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 What a backhand Boy. by mm -hmm. Anna Bright. Notice how much weight she puts into that by stepping forward and transferring her weight from her back foot to her front. One, zero, one. It's a really punishing shot right there. It's hard to get back because it's coming so fast. Two, 
zero one. Looks like Nina's trying to impose a little bit of her will here. Yeah. A little bit more aggressive than she was in the previous game. Yeah, she's uh, looking for those middle dings and she's speeding up off of those shots. And that seems to be a great play here as they have taken a three point lead. Tina Fisnick with a little bit of aggression of her own. Three zero two. little bit wild on that swing. <laughs> right, First one was already out. The second one, I don't know if you can get that lucky to get him to hit two out balls in a row. Anna Bright cracks me up with her self-talk. Mm -hmm. Zero, three, one. Out. It's funny, the ref from the one, farther three, side one. was the one that captured that call. Yeah. Great to end it back by Rachel, taking advantage of that floaty ball, punishing yeah. it. And it's, and it's funny because when players stay behind the line, it appears that there's more space to dink to. But then these players, what they're doing is they're taking advantage of moving in a step and attacking what seems to be, you know, a regular dink. Mm -hmm. And they're leaning in with the attack ball, so the weight's going forward. A little bit over-attacked there. All right, Piznik and Irvin getting two points on this side out. Trailing it, trailing by one point. Good point. drive from Tina Pisnik. Yeah, they're go, a little bit of a roll here. A little momentum. Mm -hmm. Three, three, two. Anna and Rachel might want to call a timeout at some point if this keeps up. This keeps up. Point. And it might be the time soon. And I notice that they get a lot more points when Rachel Rohrabacher is on the left mm -hmm. side when she's playing the left. Yeah, that's a good observation. Which is why they switch right there. Oh, Jesse got exactly what she wanted. That ball, that was a tack it was a tackable ball. It was dropping so was. hot. Yeah. Like it was so high and then all of a sudden when she actually made contact with yeah, it, it was I wonder just if it was spin because we definitely didn't feel the breeze pick up mm -mm. there. Definitely the spin. Unbalanced backhand slice, which is what caused that to hit the net. Four, four, one. That's not going to do it serve. either. Tino's waiting there for the counter. Four, four, two. Oh, that's a great move by Rachel right there. Knowing that Tino's going to step over to the right to take the counter, hits the open space to her left. Five, four, two. Side out. A little bit of a mishit here there by Anna Bright. So they will take a Four, one point lead there on that side out. Little work was done I'll there. Cool. Very important though, as Four, each side five, out, one. you're trying to get as many points as possible on your service possession. Go. Oh, that tape. Boy. Anna was sitting on the two handed backhand counter, and the tape kind of did her a little bit of a disservice there. Five, five, one. Mm. Point. 
ball stays down on the dink. Six, five, one. Defense turned to I'm offense right there. <laughs> I would have mentioned Rachel and Anna. Yeah. Is it my serve? Five Where in. am I at? Seven, five, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesse ramping up the aggression there. She has a little combo going on against Anna Bright. It's been working. Mm -hmm. We've seen that play. Successful. Sorry, I'm getting the ball for Jesse. And um, yeah, it's it's been it's been working for her, and I think she's going to keep applying that same pressure until she gets it right. Oh, not the right spot. Yeah, that that was kind of a different spot than where she has been going. And Rachel was there, kind of for the counter, waiting. It's okay to give it a try, though. It's good, a good attempt. <laughs> waiting again. Mm, and it's getting a little bit tight there. You noticed her weight shift was a little bit off on that rhythm. She was leaning back, leaning forward, and then caught it in a weird Nine, position, five, leading that miss to the net. It's a good spot by Anna. It's a tough spot right at the right toe of Jessie as she was leaning left. Off balance and tough location. Combo for Anna Bright, speeding up and then covering the middle for the finish. Yeah, and she sped up cross court into Tina Pisnik. She usually goes to the person right in front of her on to the backhand side, but she changed it up and found what she needed for a point. Oh, that's a great spot too. If you notice, that was kind of like a high floater to the right shoulder of Jesse. Jesse not expecting that type of an attack, especially from that location. It was a pretty low ball. Seven, nine, Anna placed it perfectly. Second serve. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Anna just cracks me up. She's berating herself for that miss. Seven, nine, two. Oh, that's a good spot on, from Jesse Irvin, right into that right hip of Rachel Rohrbacher. Not much she could do there without space. So that's a side out and a two point lead. They're only two away mm -hmm. from a spot to the semifinal. Oh, a little miscommunication there on that spot. High IQ from Anna Bright. Let's see if they can make one more stop here to make one big run to push out that second game, force it to a third. There it is, no damage there. 7-9. That's very important. That is very important for Anna and Seven, Rachel. Nine, they want to stay within two, and now they're looking to be within two. See, that's the inside out backhand that was working on Tina's one-hander up at the net. Pretty deceptive because it's a tough ball they really generate much pace with when you're going inside out with that one-hander but well executed. Side out. Ooh, missed wide on the serve, not what they needed. And here's the opportunity for Jesse and Tina to clench these two points for the match. Gotta stay focused, gotta stay on top of it. Flawless pickleball right here. That's not gonna do it. Tough spot for Jesse to recover from. Low struck ball. You cannot allow this team to get away. You know what I mean? You can't. No momentum. You yeah. can't let them get momentum. No. And Jesse yeah. says, no, point. sir. Three. And there we go. Match point. Finally, match point number one. Yeah, 
10, 7, 2. And it is wide. Tina Pisnick, Jesse Irvin, number six seed, taking down number two seed, Rachel Rohrabacher and Anna Bright in two games. 11-7, 11-7.